Welcome to the broadcast and live stream of Moonshot Radio. Moonshot Radio is generously sponsored by the PNC Grow Up Great Program. And here's your host, Dr. Nivia Torres. Greetings and welcome to Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn. I'm your host, Nivia Torres, Executive Director of the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative also known as KRC. Our vision is that all children in Indian River County will be ready for kindergarten. We proudly partner with the Moonshot Moment, who is transforming the next generation in Indian River County by having 90% of all students reading on grade level by the third grade. This is a special edition of Moonshot Radio coming to you remotely. So we ask for your patience and understanding with the delayed video. Joining me today is Sarah Pieter. Sarah is the Education Director at the Environmental Learning Center here in Vero Beach. Sarah, welcome. Thank you for having me. So happy to be here. We're excited to have you, Sarah. And tomorrow, Wednesday, April 22nd, is actually Earth Day. So we wanted to have you on the show to learn a little bit more about the Environmental Learning Center, but to also celebrate Earth Day. Sarah, tell us a little bit about the Environmental Learning Center and its contribution in our community. So the, yeah, thank you for having me on with just a day before Earth Day. It's the 50th anniversary. It's a really great celebration. And the Environmental Learning Center is passionate about connecting people with nature. And that's for the benefit, not only of nature, so we can learn how to be better stewards, but also for the benefit of people. We, um, benefit a lot so many health benefits of spending time outside and so really our you know our work is to to educate inspire and empower all people to be better stewards of the environment and for their own health too so it's it's really forging those connections and providing opportunities to engage and really enjoy nature and Sarah, you have a wide array of education programs. Share with us a little bit about those programs. We do. We have programming for um, all ages, really. Like we have a program for toddlers and their parents. And we'll probably talk a little bit more about that. But we have programming for school kids of all ages summer camps, homeschool programs, adult education. And then we also have a lot of programs that are recreation. So you're coming out and having like maybe a family outing, but learning about the lagoon and the environment while enjoying nature. So we have boat tours, canoe tours, walking tours, um, a whole range of programming to connect the entire family. Sarah, and tell me a little bit more about the Literacy in the Lagoon program, because I know that this is a very strong partnership that you have with the Learning Alliance, it's, and it's a moonshot moment kind of program. So um, share with us a little bit about that. Yeah, I'd be happy to. So the Literacy on the Lagoon program is a collaborative, uh, it's a great example of what the community can do when we work together. And that's a partnership with the Learning Alliance, um, the School District of Indian River County, the Environmental Learning Center, and some very generous community donors. And that program is to give a little extra help to rising third graders that have kind of fallen below that that reading level that would put them on par and successful for their third grade year so they it's a blended summer program they are in the schools three days a week um learning and having fun 
reading and creating stories. And then they come out to the Environmental Learning Center to engage with the environment as um, a source of inspiration. It helps build their vocabulary and they're really like, you know, inspired by this. I, I like to call it like sneaky learning. They're not even really sure that they're learning. They're just having a good time. I love hearing about that, Sarah, and just the combination of experiential learning with regular classroom learning is so very powerful and being able to give this opportunity to our local children is certainly unique and we thank you and their learning alliance and the school district for this partnership. Now, given our current circumstances, I understand that you're probably developing virtual content right now and that some of the programs might be modified or halted. How does that look for the center right now? Well, I think like, like most organizations, the school district probably included, we're not really sure. You know, we, we want to make sure that the, the kids that come out and our camp counselors and volunteers and of course our staff are safe and following precautions. If we do go ahead with on-campus programming, that would probably look a lot different with the uh, reduced um, participation for, for groups. And we're definitely looking at virtual options and even options where we might um, send like a materials and supplies needed to do some hands-on learning at home. So we're really, as you know, a place that is place-based education, it's experiential, and it's it's really providing a great challenge for us to be creative in a in a how do we bring that to our participants in a meaningful way. Well, the Environmental Learning Center is just a very special place here in Vero Beach. And I know that a lot of people are very interested in ensuring that these programs continue. Sarah, how can people get more information about the programming as the weeks and months develop and parents start thinking about the summer? How can get, they get more information about whether some of these programs will run or whether you will be offering this at-home learning option? Sure, they can always reach out by email. That would be education at discoverelc.org um, to inquire about camps. They are always welcome to call us at our main line. That's 772-789-5050 and um, check in, you know, if, if a chat is easier, that's an option. And I think the best place, honestly, is our webpage. To check our webpage frequently, we are updating with messages about closures. And I think the whole community in the next probably a few weeks will learn more about summer programming and what that could look like for, for our community, not just the ELC. Sarah, we're going to take a break to hear from our sponsors, but when we come back, we want to talk a little bit about Earth Day because we want to make sure that while people are at home, they can still celebrate Earth Day, correct? Absolutely. Starting at home is a great okay. place to celebrate. <laughs> Excellent. So we're going to take a break to hear from our sponsors, and we will be right back. Welcome to the broadcast and live stream of Moonshot Radio. Everyday activities are Moonshot grateful funding Radio moments. Moonshot Radio is generously sponsored by the PNC Grow Up Great Program. Everyday activities are and grateful here's funding your host, moments for talking Dr. and teaching the world. Babies' brains grow 80% in the first 18 months of life. As parents and your baby's first teacher, you can help build their brain with language and literacy skills. Involve the whole family. Ask questions. The more words babies hear, the larger their vocabulary can grow. Support early childhood education by talking, reading, singing, and family engagement. 
This message has been brought to you by PNC Grow Up Great and the Florida Grade Level Reading Campaign. American Icon Brewery is open for takeout and delivery. Enjoy our award-winning beer, burgers, pizza, wings, and more for you to enjoy at home. You've got enough to deal with. Leave the cooking to us. We'll honor our first responders and active military with a 50% discount off food. We're open every day, noon to 8 p.m. You can easily order online or call us, 772-934-4266. That's 934-4266. At Indian River Habitat for Humanity, our work has always been on behalf of our community. Right now, our community, our state, and our country are practicing social distancing to honor our president's request to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. For that reason, we are announcing that our Habitat Restore on North US-1 in Vero Beach will be closed through April 30th. This closure will ensure that our staff, volunteers, those who come in to donate goods, those from whom we pick up donations, and our customers will be protected from coming into contact or spreading this highly infectious disease. In the meantime, we hope and pray that your families will remain healthy and safe as we await the anticipated reopening of our Restore Doors on May 1st. Thank you, and may God bless you. Radio works in repetition. Idea Garden Advertising will save you money on printing. Idea Garden Advertising will save you money on video production, public relations, and websites. And Idea Garden Advertising will save you time. Local to the Treasure Coast, IdeaGardenAdvertising.com. Caraba's Curbside Pickup and Delivery is at your service for lunch and dinner seven days a week. Don't forget their family bundles like lasagna or chicken parm or the favorites like the Johnny or Chicken Brian. Just pick up the phone, 299-5999, and they'll bring it right to your home or their curb, and you can pick it up, 1285 US 1 Vero Beach. Don't forget Carabas, because there is no love more sincere than the love of food. We're back to Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn. I'm your host, Nivia Torres, Executive Director of KRC. And joining me today to celebrate Earth Day is Sarah Pieter. Sarah is the Education Director at the Environmental Learning Center right here in Vero Beach. Welcome back, Sarah. Hi, it's good to be back. Sarah, I want to ask you, what is a certified forest therapy guide? Oh, sure. So, um, you know, there are programs that are, um, I guess, becoming more popular as we really understand um, and, and more research is coming out on the benefits of nature for human wellness. And that's physical, emotional, mental. Um, it really has a huge impact on our systems. And with that, there are some ways that um, you can, you know, kind of increase those benefits. I think a lot of us have probably spent um, time walking in the woods and, you know, doing our best to get off of screens. And that's great. We should still do that. Uh, solo hiking or with your family hiking is great. A forest therapy guide is um, really just an added layer of benefits that can help you learn how to dig even deeper into the benefits of, uh, you know, time spent outside. So there, uh, it's a training program that's about a six month long commitment and they teach you this um, organization, the Association of Nature and Forest Therapy Guides will teach you and train you and mentor you as a guide to really foster the connection between people and nature. And it really um, is best to explain it if you come out on a program because it is a walk in the woods, but a very intentional walk in the woods um, to really disconnect from the outside world and to reconnect with yourself and the forest. 
I love hearing about that, Sarah. And just sign me up. Sign me up when the social <laughs> distancing welcome, guidelines, <laughs> when the social distancing guidelines are, are, are lifted and we're able to interact. Um, once again, I definitely want to experience that. You are a certified forest therapy guide, and we're excited to know that we have one here locally in Vero Beach. So share with us, um, Sarah, how then can we celebrate Earth Day for those of us who feel a little confined or who might not have access to the beautiful grounds and the scenery at the Environmental Learning Center? How can we still access nature? How can we access, you know, those emotions within ourselves, and how can we connect with Earth? That's a great question. I know people feel limited right now with where they can go and how they can get out and enjoy um, the beauty that is our area. The Vera Beach community is just gorgeous. Um, I think reminding ourselves that nature doesn't have to be a hundred acre park. Nature is really flourishing in your backyard and mm -hmm to celebrate and to really observe and just reconnect. It can be as simple as if you have a backyard, spending 20 minutes a day in your backyard, exploring, um, noticing maybe the small parts of life that people overlook like insects, lizards. Uh, mm. Even if you have a sidewalk, if you live in an apartment complex, you know, there are always plants growing in the cracks of sidewalks. And I think refocusing how we think about nature, that it doesn't have to be this big, expansive place. Nature is found everywhere. It's accessible to everybody as long as you like go out seeking it. Right. So if you're really paying attention, the tree that you have at the end of your block might have like you know, 50 different species using it. So that tree is nature. And for, for Earth Day this year, I think it's a great reminder that a lot of what we do in the four walls that are our home have a big impact on the environment. And so if we start in the home, um, that's a great place to celebrate Earth Day. So, Maybe instead of um, using paper towels, which can be hard to find right now, that could be a good inspiration to reducing your paper use in the house. Mm -hmm. Try rags instead. You know, even at the grocery store, if you're going out, meat can be a little harder to find right now. So switching to one night a week, that's a pure um, vegetarian meal with no meat is a great way to help the planet. And then thinking even about what you're putting down the drain. So if you have a hard time breathing in the chemicals you use to clean, maybe there's a chance to switch to something that's a little bit more gentle and um, would be good for you and the environment. Sarah, what great tips from exploring nature in your backyard, whether it's morning, evening, or night, and gazing at the stars. Um, I do love that tip. I don't know about exploring lizards, Sarah. For me, that's not going to work. I'm terrified of them. Uh, but I love your ideas, and you're absolutely right. Even taking a walk around the block, which I do here in my community, and I'm sort of experiencing things in a new way, things that I had not seen before, because like you say, we don't take the time to really enjoy these, right? So there are new things, it's a new discovery every day. And I also like your tips about consumption because I really don't think we take the time to think about that. Maybe we are eating a little bit too much meat or we using a lot of paper products and plastic. And now that some of those are not readily available, this is really an opportunity to think about that, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, we. I would hope that people were focused on that. I mean, 
we know the plastic problem, um, the waste problem, but sometimes you really need motivation. Change is tough. And just because you know better doesn't always mean that you're willing to make those sacrifices to do better. But right now we're all sacrificing. And if you can't find paper towels at the store, then be creative. I'm sure you have old rags laying around, sheets to cut up that might have holes in them. Um, is a great way to really like focus now on these changes that we are forced to make and maybe keeping and implementing those regardless of the supply in the stores. And I love that you mentioned about walking around your neighborhood and seeing and observing maybe things you missed before, because this, this really is a chance um, to slow down. We're forced to, and the silver lining is that families and people have more, I guess, time to explore their neighborhoods, to get out and have a walk around and to maybe notice like a beautiful blooming tree that you didn't take the time to notice before. And so, you know, that is such a great benefit for our bodies to even 20 minutes a day has profound impact on your physical and mental well-being. And so it's a great time to, you know, get in the habit of doing this for ourselves more often because you know, we have to value, um, you know, if we value the earth and we really like have a relationship with the earth, that will lead to us, you know, taking efforts to save it more so than if you didn't have a relationship. So I think right now forming those bonds is a great thing. And also acknowledging, Sarah, I think that this is a comfortable confinement. We're in our homes and, you know, we have our comfortable space, our bed, and for the most part, our resources. So recognizing that and really using that as an opportunity to improve within ourselves and hopefully to contribute to the earth as well. I want to thank you for all the wonderful tips, Sarah, that you have shared with us today. And I do want to encourage our viewers and our listeners to pause, to think about the things that you shared, taking a walk around the block. Even if you live in an apartment, there are things that you can enjoy and really celebrate Earth Day. Sarah, anything else that you'd like to share about the Environmental Learning Center? Yes, absolutely. So if you follow our Facebook, um, we do have a, a virtual Earth Day celebration. Um, the, the last day to submit entries for a chance to win a birthday party at the ELC mm -hmm. is tomorrow. So check out our Facebook page for those challenges. You can also check out our website for the same challenges. And um, we're we have a whole bunch of content um, that you can do from the comfort of your backyard or your, your neighborhood that engages people with exploring nature. So quick little videos to really get you thinking about your neighborhood, the animals you can find there, and learning while having a good time. So definitely check out our website. That's Discover elc.org and if you go to our virtual environmental education page you'll find a whole slew of activities sarah thank you and happy earth day and hopefully i'll see happy you at earth the trails day. very soon thank you so much happy earth day to you and i hope everybody gets outside and really enjoys it and um has a nice sunny day Thank you. And to our viewers and our listeners, until next time, this has been Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn.